Renzo now up to the offensive zone, leaves it back for Damaray, who dangles out some defenders. <laughs> that was number 15, Connor Dean, for we have a feet across from Damaray. I mean, just beautiful look, uh, beautiful play by the Flames. Yeah, that was an easy shot. He slipped that right in there. And I mean, it's starting off as a good game for Liberty. Let's see if they can keep that momentum going throughout the rest of the game. And let's just take another look at that. I mean, he just comes right on the outside and straight in that goal. That's a great feed across that from Demery, who was able to find um, this one taken by no shot from the slot. Gets dangled up and bodies in front. But see if another backhand try. And a sprungly save there by Austin. I thought that was a save, but apparently sneaked in through the goal as we have a scramble in front of the net. Yeah, I mean, there's. I, we just saw a little tussle there. And I mean, I think one of the reasons that Liberty is so quick to score a goal is that they move as a unit and they're great with their follow through. Once they all get up to the goal, they're just looking for open shots and open players at all time. Yeah, this one, I mean, Austin lost track of the puck a little bit there. So we're going to take another look. But here with the backhand shot right in front, you see that puck just dangling through. And Austin isn't quick enough to cover with the glove, and that's why it goes inside the net. Yeah, but I mean, talk about persistence. They do not give up when it comes to getting that puck in the goal. But still in Liberty possession here. Bowman, another shot from this point, and this one gets deflected in. This one got deflected off of defender from the captain's goal by Bowman. Yeah. Or I'm sorry, this one was deflected in front by Kornak. Great deflection there. Austin couldn't really track it down. Yeah. And finally one goes in for the Flames. Yeah, and I mean, what a goal that was. Definitely unexpected from that distance away, but the captains were able to hold their own for a good bit of that play there. As you can see, they were all kind of piling up to try to defend. But that one, I guess they just couldn't see coming. Grenzau able to find it. Has Rohrer with him, but Grenzau is going to take that shot and he scores! What a shot by Grenzau, just goes above the glove of Austin on a straight, straight from their defensive zone and just coming forward. I mean, yeah. what a have his left shot by Grenzau there. I mean, that was a force of a goal just right in there. And I mean, it's not very surprising for Grenzau based off of his 100 point um, record so far after last night's game, but. I mean, even looking at some of the good plays from the captains, they were able to definitely hold their own, and their offense is even stronger, I would say, in this period. Keep seeing Grenzo now behind the net. Has Williams in the middle who takes the shot and scores. I this one just goes above the pass from Austin. of a great feed from Grenzo, his third point of the night already, feeding Williams in front. Yeah, I mean, what a shot from Williams. Let's take another look at that. It's fed right in front, perfect shot. It was just, I mean, that was a hard one to block, especially for um, Will Austin. That was just definitely a difficult shot from so close um, to be able to apprehend and block. Feeds it back for Grenzau, feeds Spuller. Shot from the point, this one just goes wide. Struggling back there, and Grenzau able to put it back in behind the net. This point, a rebound off the boards. Austin was lost on the other side of the post, and Grenzau was able to find it. Just put it in on the open net. Yeah, let's take another look at that. I mean, Austin, he did his best to hold his own after that first save, but then just looking at it again, there was really no hope to try to get to the other side in time for that quick hit right into the net. I mean, that would be difficult for just about any goalie to apprehend after trying to stop that last shot on net. Wood sends it back for Dean. Back to Wood, top of the right circle. As he sends it across in a... Another goal there. A power play goal for Michael Williams. He gets the rebound off of a bad save from Austin. And just way to position himself in front there to be in a great place for that goal. Absolutely. I mean, as we look at this again, it's just the Flames' ability to position themselves in a way that they can get it around in the goal. Um, around the goal that can confuse kind of our goalie, Will Austin, who can't really see where the puck is going to come from. Didn't score on the power play yet on this game which something definitely positive and of course as soon as i say it right. trevor grands out with the goal hat-trick effort here for the senior forward who reached 100 points on the season yesterday and now with three goals 
two assists also on the score sheet as the Flames go up 8-0 on this game. Yeah, I mean, Granzau, a tyrant on the ice. You really never know what's coming when he gets near that goal. And he is such, he's such a good player who knows how to sneak around. As Dean feeds Granzau low behind the net. Granzau waiting. A lot of bodies in front of the net. He feeds a pass for Williams who cannot, who tries to get that third goal. Great bad save by Austin as we had the scramble there on the net. Wood lifting his hand as he thinks that puck went in. I'm not really sure that's a huge scramble, but Williams, what a feed from Granzon across for him to maybe get a half trick, but can't really get it in. Great job by Austin going post to post on that one. I mean, that was a storm of flames on the goal. They really, that was a massive attack um, from Liberty. They just bombarded that goal. Let's take another look at that. Thrown the puck in, almost a straight shot, but look at that save from Will Austin. I mean, what a save. I We lost the puck in the scramble. Yeah, that was a great, first off, that was a great feed from Branzau from across the ice. Like, what a vision to find Williams there all by himself. Williams had a little bit of trouble to get that puck on his stick. Once he did and was able to take the shot. Bogan feeding it to Dean. Dean now trying to find strike in front. As I'm that not was sure a, that, I that was that goal. Was goal. There was no goal horn. Let's take another yeah. look here. I think that was deflected in. Yeah, and a I feed believe. from Bogan. Yes, that that's a goal. That's a goal for the Flames. I mean, it was definitely hard to apprehend because we didn't, but uh, it's counted <laughs> as what it's counted as. Yeah, deflection in front there by strike of a great feat. Face off here, won by the captains, but the Flames quickly to retrieve it. Damaray going around there. Defenders, he has Basir on the other side, but he's going to take that shot, and that one goes in. What a shot by Damaray for the 11th goal of the Flames on this game, Absolutely. the 24th of the entire series. Whew. I mean, looking at that again, he did not even give them a time to think or process what was happening before shooting right on that goal and getting on top of it. I don't think they could apprehend that he was going to take that shot. They were probably thinking it was going to be more of a wrap around to take it there. This one is going to be played down as we're going to have the final buzzer here. 11 enough in victory for the Flames. Another commanding showing for this Liberty team. Absolutely. And I mean, what a game. We saw a lot of good plays from the captains following last night's game. I think they really did up what um, they wanted to, and they were able to. I mean, as we take another look at this, there were a lot of shots on goal from the Flames. But overall, I think the defensive side of the captains definitely stepped up their game. Yeah, I mean, compared to last night, that was definitely an improvement, but nonetheless, commending victories here for Liberty on this weekend. Thank you so much for sticking around. Liberty of the 11-0 victory. My name is Bruno Sampaio, and I was here with Daisy Ryan. Thank you so much for staying with us.